So I realized we don't we don't often do these videos where we just sit down and visit and catch up. And Tom actually ended up going out of town this past week to a trade show in Texas. So he might have been down in your neck of the woods. Um, his old or former boss had called and said like, hey, by chance, would you be free to do this with me? And uh, it's been a couple years since he has done one of those. So he was like, sure. So they headed down there. Um, and so he has been gone this week. So we got no further on the flooring. I was kind of hoping today we would be showing you a flooring reveal. And so that uh, didn't happen. And I know often the question comes up like, do you have a hard time coming up with topics for videos or those kinds of things? And honestly, normally we don't. Usually there's um, enough like stuff going on in life that we enjoy getting to share with you. And I have a list a mile long of minimalism <laughs> videos. So Tuesdays, I have no shortage of video ideas for those and different spins to put on minimalism and decluttering. And so um, that I don't ever really seem to run out of ideas for those. But sometimes on Fridays when we go to just kind of give a life update, um, once in a while, it's kind of like, we did not, like nothing interesting went on <laughs> in our world this past week. And that's probably kind of how this past week went. So I thought we could just sit down and visit for a few minutes. And if this type of video isn't for you, that's totally fine. You can skip right past it and <laughs> we'll be back next week with regular videos. But um, let's see, I would be curious how you're doing and how you're feeling about this holiday season. I think um, it has been, a strange season, I think would be maybe one of the best words for me to describe it for us. Um, I think I feel tired <laughs> and not just because of like, you know, trying to get the workbook out and all that, but um, it just feels like everyone around me right now is going through something really difficult and you can't help but just feel for them and want things to be different for them. I mean, my mom is like so tired of caregiving <laughs> right now. She reminds me when I like answer the phone, she's like 38 days, it's been 38 days, you know? And um, my assistant, I don't even like to call her assistant. She is like my right arm <laughs> now. Um, she is so administratively gifted um, and I rely on her so much. And, uh, but she's also become a friend over the years, right? And so her dad passed away and it was just, it's its just horrible. I mean, I'm just, I'm so sad for her, right? And we have a new nephew on our side, which is super exciting, but he, um, they knew he had some heart problems and so he had one surgery and then ended up like really unexpectedly having to have a second surgery and they're down here by us, which has been so great, but seeing what they've had to walk through is just, no parent ever wants to go through that, right? And so, and then I feel like, oh my goodness, Don, count your blessings, enjoy your blessings because you have so much to be grateful for and like, so like so much to be grateful for and um but i think probably just kind of like tired a little bit sad this season is is probably the words that could best describe it and i, I don't i don't want to say bad things about the workbook the workbook okay so another huge blessing in my life this summer when i started writing this workbook is i had a, a gal in our facebook group and she was like hey dawn could i help and I didn't necessarily respond to her emails right away. And I'm like, we're doing okay, we're fine. And then she was like, hey Dawn, I'm I'm a technical writer. Like, can I please help you with this? You need to have a little more structure. Like the lessons need to be very uniform if we really want this to be helpful for other people. And so she came alongside, she's a technical writer by trade and was just such a huge help. I mean, I truly believe her expertise and knowledge made the workbook 800 times better than I could have ever done on my own. And so I'm so grateful for that and got to know her well through the process and she's wonderful and wise and supportive. Um, but after that step, it felt, it kind of felt like everything that could go wrong, like from uh, designing it and website and shipping and just printing and paper and all of this, um, it just, there was a lot of bumps in the road. And so I only say that I'm not looking for like sympathy or comments or anything, but just to say like, just so you know, I know sometimes from the outside, you know, Tom's dancing and he's like, hey, we sold out and, and everything's so great. Um, like the week of Thanksgiving when we were getting ready to launch it, I, would, I just had to be like, Lord, this is yours. I have put so many more hours into it than I thought it was gonna take so much work and I like I feel so invested in it and I want it to do well and I want it to help people but like so many things have been going wrong that I'm like this is yours I there's just nothing I can physically do anymore especially when you're trying to count on other people to help and do things and so I'm like it is yours I cannot I just can't I can't do anything more with it and um 
I mean, needless to say, you saw Tom dance. We ordered more than we thought. We were kind of like going back and forth between num two numbers and Tom's like, you know what, let's just go for the higher number, uh, which is a scary investment on our side. And then um, got to the point where I felt like I had to stop mentioning it because we had almost sold out and the printer couldn't tell us when um, she would get more paper again. And so, it, I mean, it was super exciting, but I think it was still just hard feeling like, but it doesn't bring somebody's dad back, right? There are gonna be way more added points in this than I was anticipating. Darn it, <laughs> okay. But here's what else was cool through this process. So like I said, my assistant, I would use her name, but I didn't ask her permission, so I don't wanna out her. Um, so through this process, she had to take time off to, to be with her family. And so I ended up answering support emails and, and the other emails that come in were kind of a, <laughs> I, I bring in people to help when possible, but at the end of the day, we're kind of a two-man act around here with her and I. Tom helps too, but like just like day in, day out, it's her and I. And so she, she you know, she needed to take time off. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna figure, like I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the support emails and and everything else that needs to um, be done. But through that though, the the stories that I got to see that I don't always see because I'm not always the one. I mean, she's great about passing on emails when they're um, personal messages and stuff, but I don't always get to see it firsthand. And so to see the emails of like, there was one that said, my dad passed away two years ago. And so my mom and I have been using your methods and Dana and Cass's to like go through their house and to simplify. And it's really brought us together through the process. And um, I don't mean this to be like a sales pitch for <laughs> minimalism or simple living or anything that we do, but it was just cool to be like, it doesn't like it doesn't bring a loved one back. It, it doesn't keep a baby from needing to have surgery again, but like it really does change things, right? And it does make these storms that we go through a little bit easier to weather. And my mug here, it's from um, Mary Beth from What At Cost. I am so grateful that two of the people that like really speak life and help keep me grounded, they're very good at validating, but then also like being like, but okay, like <laughs> challenging me too. They both have YouTube channels. So Mary Beth from What At Cost and Dawn from um, Living By Heart. They're so good at validating, but then I was talking to Mary Beth and she was like, we've actually been studying this in my small group lately that the only way to develop character is through some kind of suffering, like things not going right. And I was like, yeah, that's great. I mean, she's super great at validating first, but then she was just like, she's like, how else? Like, how else do we ever grow or become a better version of ourselves or, or whatever? And I was just like, right, but could we like, could we just get through Christmas, <laughs> you know, or like, could we just set the care, the cares of the world aside for a few weeks and like have a Merry Christmas and just get to focus on that. And so, and unfortunately that's just, that's generally not how things work. Right. And so I, I wanted to do this video today, not to say like, Hey, if you're going through something hard, it's for character development. Like that's not at all. I just, I sincerely feel like almost every person around me is going through something hard right now. Um, job losses, physical things, surgeries, things with kids. And so, I just thought I'm like, I, I have to imagine if I'm seeing that in my sphere, that there's a good chance that that is what you're experiencing as well. Uh, we went to a real estate conference, like I guess it was a few years ago now, and the gal, she just kept saying, it was so good. She was like, we're more alike than different. She's like, we're more alike than different. And so I know the things that I'm feeling is sad about right now, there's probably a good likelihood that, that that you are too. And so I think I just wanted to say today, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for the things you're going through, for the secondhand um, sadness and grief that you for, are feeling for those around you. And um, I am, I am trying, like, Cindy, the writer, is just always like, but I reframe it. She's like, I reframe it. I'm like, grateful for, we have this and this and this. And I'm like, I know, and I'm trying so hard. I think I've also realized that we, we just hadn't, I've been using the word bandwidth lately. I think because the, my days have gotten really full in this season and not having a lot of extra room or bandwidth, I think it's it is extremely hard to see the good in what's what's going on around us right now and to even think about this idea of like oh it's developing character. I think when we're stretched so thin it is so hard and I had I think because I had experienced kind of like having margin and feeling like okay things are busy, you know, they're always going to be kind of busy, but making sure there's time for just to take time off and to do other things. And so I've experienced that and I do think having that little bit of extra space and room does make it mo a little more easier to be like, okay, this sucks, but I do see like the good things that are coming out of it too. And 
um, how it is forcing me to grow and change and to be stronger. But it's it's so hard. It's so hard to appreciate that when we are stretched ultra thin. And sometimes that being stretched thin is completely out of our control. There is just literally nothing we can do about it right now. And so I don't even want to put the pressure on you and be like, well, you just need to create more margin and then everything will be better. So I'm not saying that at all, but I am saying I do hope there is a point where you can look ahead and be like, okay, not right now, I can't, but you know, in this season or in this next season, then I will be able to free up a little more space and to be able to like, you know, just to have more space for those relationships that with people that validate us and recognize the things we're going through. And then when the time's right can offer advice and gently challenge us too. <laughs> so I did think this mug was just like so funny though. Uh, just so cute. Like it just makes me happy when I look at it. It is completely opposite from my white mugs, right? But I'm like, I just want to put my coffee in the morning and it totally makes me smile. <laughs> so thank you, Mary Beth, for that. And then, you know, we've also been just trying, I'm like, okay, what do we need to do right now just to kind of get in the spirit and everything? So we're trying to like light candles, put on Christmas music and um, it's good. Like there is so much good. And I think that's where sometimes the attention is like, Dawn, appreciate it. Like there's so much good stuff, right? And so sometimes we can kind of get hard on ourselves too. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm appreciating it. Like there is so much good. So, so there that I don't, I don't even know if I said anything that's at all helpful or <laughs> encouraging, but I just, I just wanted to get to visit with you for a few minutes. I do hope coming up next week, we can show the floor. Wow, that is gonna bump us right up to Christmas Eve, isn't it? We're actually gonna do a YouTube live on Christmas Eve. We'll play this or that with the Chris, with Christmas stuff, which will be fun. So I don't know that we'll have a floor, I don't know. I don't actually know how much longer it's gonna take Tom to finish it. So, well, I better, I'm not gonna make any promises. Maybe two weeks from today, we will be able to uh, show a flooring reveal. That would be fun. So, uh, but we will look uh, forward to getting to visit with you on Christmas Eve. I know too, that this can be a really lonely time of year too. And so um, I'm just, I'm really sorry if you feel like my problem isn't lack of time, it's too much time. And so I'm sorry for that as well. And I wish, I really wish we could come to your house and have Christmas with you. <laughs> and so I, I guess the next closest thing is a YouTube live. So we really will look forward to getting to celebrate with you a little bit on Christmas Eve. But otherwise, I, I honestly hope things are going well. I hope you're not relating to this video at all. I hope you're having a good Christmas season and that all your preparations are coming together. And um, I'm excited for the new year. We'll definitely talk about getting our house back in order after the holidays and getting it decluttered and feeling really good because I do know that it, it can make the hard times just a little bit easier. So. All right, well, I will, uh, I will sign off for today, but I love you. I hope that you have a really great weekend. I'm so grateful for your support. I don't even wanna say, like, I don't, I don't even like to share the, the bumps in the road because I know, like, a month from now, it is not gonna matter, and um, it just, it's just par for the course, right? So I am just so grateful for you and your support, and I really hope that you have a great weekend. All right, I love you.